Hi there, welcome to our quick video on custom roles. In this video, we'll discuss what are custom roles, how to set up custom roles and more. Let's get started. As the hierarchy in sales teams diversifies, the responsibilities each user has on the CRM vary drastically. One user may need access to edit and delete records like leads, contacts and accounts, while another user may not need the same amount of access. In such situations, it is not feasible to grant the same permissions to all users. It can lead to data security concerns, data redundancy and errors. For this reason, admins prefer to control the permissions given to the users. To solve this need, we bring you custom roles in FreshSets. Use custom roles to create roles right from scratch and regulate the permissions assigned to users. To set up new roles for your team, head over to the admin settings and click roles under general settings. Choose from the pre-existing roles, restricted user, user, manager, admin, and account admin, or use them as a basis to modify permissions and create custom roles. To create a new role, click the Create Role button. Start with giving the role a name. Next, select the role whose permissions you wish to clone and set the scope for the role. By default, it is set as Global. Click Next to proceed. Next, choose the relevant permissions for the role. There are seven categories to which you can modify the permissions for actions and scope. Let's go over what each of them is. First up is Module Permissions. Here you can configure module level permissions for leads, contacts, accounts, deals, tasks and appointments. Click on each module to alter its related actions and scope. Modify the scope to one of four actions, view, create, edit and delete. So what is scope? Scope is the extent to which you want your users to access records. A user with global scope can access all records in your fresh sales account without any restriction. Territory scope allows the user to access records within their territory and those assigned to them, while restricted scope provides access only to the assigned records. Next are actions permissions. Here is the list of actions you can customize related to the four modules. Click on a checkbox to edit permissions related to each action. This opens up a hover card where you can select the modules which the user can access. Let's look at an example. The bulk assign action allows you to transfer multiple leads to new owners. Permit or decline access to bulk assigned records for only specific modules by choosing from the hover card. Similarly, Convert Leads lets you convert any lead into a contact. Uncheck this box to decline permission to convert leads. Next comes the sales goals. Sales goals are an efficient way of quantifying the performance of your team. Creating and tracking sales goals helps prioritize tasks, monitor progress, and identify areas for growth. Permit access to view, create, edit, or delete sales goals in this section. These actions apply to all goals or only those created by the user. The reports permissions allow you to edit actions related to reports like view, edit, share, export, delete, and more. Customize each action to specific modules. For instance, if you want the user to have access to delete reports related to only leads, Select Leads in the hover card and click Done. Now for the admin permissions. All permissions related to admin settings like creating and managing workflows, territories and users, exporting data from fresh sales and migrating from another CRM fall under this list. Note that when admin permissions are disabled, the user will not be able to see the settings icon in fresh sales. Next are emails. Define the right access to emails using view email conversations and share email templates. Choose between viewing only private emails or all emails. You can also provide access to sharing email templates with all users, only teams, or only within the user's territories. You can set a limit on the number of bulk and individual emails each user can send or choose to decline access to send emails. Sales sequences permissions allow you to regulate permissions to view and create sales sequences. Similar to emails, Define access to share email sequences and set limits on the number of emails the user can send. Once you've created your customized role, you can start adding users to the role. Click the Assign Users button to open the users overlay. Select the users and hit Assign. The selected users are assigned to the role. Delete a custom role by clicking the drop-down. 
If users are assigned to a role, you cannot delete it unless they are reassigned to another role. Note that pre-existing roles cannot be deleted. And that's everything you need to know about configuring roles that suit your business needs with custom roles in Freshsales. Happy selling!